Welcome to Microsoft Dynamics NAV Coffee Mug Tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Enecta, a Microsoft Gold certified partner. Using a coffee mug as an example, I'll show you how to create items, purchase orders, sales orders, manage inventory, and much more. So go ahead and grab your own cup of joe and let's get started. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mug Tutorials. Uh, we just purchased a coffee roaster and uh, I need to actually get this roaster into our system as a fixed asset. So today I wanted to go through fixed assets and how those work with NAV. Uh, it's really good to have the fixed asset system inside the uh, ERP because then you can utilize the purchasing and the sales functions that are natural to um, the ERP or, or Dynamics NAV to get the fixed asset in and out. Obviously we depreciate and that hits GL automatically so it makes perfect sense that it's in there. Um, what we're gonna do is go into the fixed assets here. I have a couple of old cars here or actually three of them uh, that probably are depreciated out and then I got my grinder but I'm missing my roaster so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new fixed asset hit enter to get a new number give a description coffee roaster and I'm just gonna skip these fields over here the most important part is picking the depreciation book and I've set up already a company depreciation book which is connected to the GL and then I pick the posting group which is going to be machinery and the rest I just leave blank. I can have multiple books, but only one book posts actually to GL. The rest of the books um, could depreciate, but that's only for information purposes, like a tax book, etc. Uh, on the posting side, I'm gonna pick a class, put this tangible, and that should do it. I'll skip the maintenance part. Now notice I don't put a book value for my roaster. This is because I am going to post that through a purchase order. So let me do that. Now I go into the purchase orders and create a new purchase order. So I'm just going to go here into edit and new. And it's going to be from the let's see custom metals. They are building it for us and here in the type I can select fixed asset as a thing that I buy I'm not buying items or not straight into GL just fixed asset and then I can go and select the fixed asset uh, my coffee roaster I'm getting one Those pieces it's gonna cost me uh, six thousand dollars and that's it. Now I'm going to put in the invoice from the vendor, which is BBETR1111. Uh, one, 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 one. Like that. And now I'll go ahead and uh, post. Actually, what I want to do is put this on 1st of 17. Oh, oh. Like that. Uh, this way I'm in the future and everything in the system happens in the future. So it'll come out right. Now I'm going to go ahead and post, receive an invoice, and close out that, go back to my fixed assets, go to the coffee roaster, and now you can see that the book value is 6000. If I go into my ledger entries for this asset, I have an acquisition cost from the purchaser. Really neat. Okay. Now I want this to depreciate over three years, so it's going to start 01, 01, 17, and it's going to end 12, 31, um, 19. So that's three years. And it automatically picked up that that's three years. And now this asset is ready to be depreciated, and I'm going to show you how that gets done. If I go 
out of here. I can go up to this button over here, cal calculate depreciation, as well as I could look for it in the search. Uh, and up comes this report that actually calculates things. And I wanted to hit uh, February 1st, and I want to depreciate only for one month, and only that asset that I picked, just for example purposes. So I pick the depreciation book that affects what the posting date should be, uh, document number is going to come into my journal as, and what the description is, and here I put a filter on the asset that I want to de uh, depreciate. Now I just hit OK. It goes through the process, and now in my GL journal, I have depreciation lines for my grinder. As you can see, um, it has divided out the acquisition cost by three years and puts in the amount here. And now all I have to do is post this to get my depreciation in. Um, similarly, when you get rid of the asset, you can sell it through a uh, sales order. Or you could dispose of it um, through a journal. Either way. And that was all for the fixed asset.